are you wearing the wrong hoodie? Chances are you probably are and you don't even know it. So to get ready for the fall, let's go over the best hoodies you need in your wardrobe. First one we gotta talk about is from Abercrombie and Fitch. Abercrombie is known for having one of the best hoodies available and for good reason soft comfortable the perfect silhouette you can't really ask for more in a hoodie i have these in several different colors including dark green and cream and i can tell you right now i'm probably going to be getting a lot more they retail for about 60 bucks which isn't bad for a hoodie especially of this quality considering some brands are tripping on their prices so you're definitely getting a good bang for your buck this is how the abercrombie wants to fit i love where the shoulder sits my favorite part about this is this has the perfect crop look if you just fold in the bottom this one's incredibly soft and i just have to mention the colors again so instead of a normal white this one's a cream white. Definitely gonna be wearing this one a lot. Now this kind of hoodie, the perfect blank, I could talk about forever. Let's switch it up and let's talk about the next hoodie you need, which is a zip down hoodie. I love this kind of hoodie because typically most people only wear blanks, but a zip down hoodie is a good switch in pace so you could dress differently from most guys out there. That being said, it's not gonna make you stand out a ton, but it's still something casual that you could wear in your outfits, especially because this one's a little bit more versatile because you could layer with this or you could wear it by itself. You could leave it zipped or completely unzipped. I strictly wear these only when I'm dressing very, and I mean very casually. Meaning if I'm going out with some friends, nothing too crazy, or I just want to be laid back and comfortable, I'm going with a zip down hoodie. Granted, I really don't own many of these. And if I do get them, it's probably going to be in the color gray, just because when I think of a zip down hoodie, I think of it in the color gray. And it is worth mentioning that the most popular zip down hoodie is the Nike Tech. So if you want that one, probably recommending that more. The one that I have is from New Balance. When people think about New Balance, they typically don't think about apparel, but I can tell you, New Balance is definitely a good spot for some hoodies. That being said, I also own another one from New Balance. This one I typically wear when I work out, but the reason why I'm not mentioning this one too much is because when it comes to these kinds of hoodies, I prefer them with no drawstrings. But if you're into the drawstrings look, maybe this one might be a good option. But these have held up nicely for about two years now, so Again, pretty good for the price. And again, a nice switch in pace. Another good switch in pace is gonna be a graphic hoodie, which in my opinion, this one is wildly underrated. For those of you who like graphics, you typically only think of graphics in the warmer seasons. And that's because graphic tees tend to be more popular, but something more underrated is gonna be a graphic hoodie. So yes, you could achieve that same aesthetic, but in the colder seasons. So let's be real, what's the most popular thing in the warmer seasons? Cargos and a graphic tee. You can keep those cargo pants and instead swap out the graphic tee for a graphic hoodie and you have pretty much the same outfit that you're very comfortable in. The one that I have is a Corvette one. When it comes to graphic tees, I prefer the car graphics. It's not because I'm a car guy, but these just look cool in my opinion. This one from Hollister, it's insanely soft, good fit, so very comfortable. Again, I wear this in a very casual setting, mostly when I'm going out with friends, just keeping things relaxed. And this graphic hoodie definitely gets some compliments. So if you're looking for the same thing, everything is going to be linked in the description for you to pick up. Right, let's go back to blanks because again, I just love these and I think different brands have different things to offer. And the next brand I'm going to be talking about is going to be Hours Collection. This one is one of my favorite spots for blanks, especially the hoodies. Another perfect silhouette, very comfortable. And my favorite part is the colors. So instead of just picking up green, blue, I don't know why, but no other color seems to pop into my head. But instead of just picking up flat colors, they have colors in different tones. So, so they have forest green, navy blue, and something like a dark gray. These are my favorite colors to be wearing in the hoodies. And so Hours Collection has some of my favorite color palettes. That's typically why they're my go-to hoodies. This one is the Hours one. This is the text one, but they do have their plain colors. I honestly like both of them. Now, for those of you who are nerds and like the fabrics, first of all, sorry, I said nerds, didn't mean to offend you, but if you're into the whole build quality, Hours is known for having 400 GSM. Not sure what that means, but apparently it's pretty impressive. Again, around $60, so a very good bang for your buck. When I think of quality hoodies, I think of Hours Collection. And again, they are very slept on. Not only do they have affordable blanks, but they also have some graphic hoodies, which again, I mentioned is something very underrated. And these from Hour Collection that mostly have text on them, I'm a really big fan of. These definitely stand out because when I wear this one, I get a lot of questions about it. Asking where did I get it? Or I just get some compliments saying that they like my hoodie. That's exactly why I love Hours Collection so much. So I definitely recommend checking them out if you haven't already. And my next favorite hoodie is gonna be from Essentials. Now, when I say that, most people think of Fear of God Essentials, but we'll talk about that a little later. This is from Jose Zuniga's brand Essentials. I own a black one and a brown one. And these are one of my favorite heavy duty hoodies. I've had these for about a year now, and they've definitely been some of my favorite hoodies. I love the quality on this one. Again, great silhouette good scrunch on the sleeves, which is something that I think most people tend to overlook when they're looking for hoodies. That scrunch that you get at the bottom of the sleeve is something you should look forward to because in my personal experience, every hoodie that offers that is typically one of the more high quality hoodies. And these have lasted me some good time now, so I definitely recommend checking them out. Now look, there's also very popular places that I have not tried yet. Hoodies are some of my favorite pieces. I think they are very versatile. And therefore, I wanna stock up on some good hoodies. If I didn't mention a brand that you personally love, let me know what I'm missing out on in the comments and I might go check it out. But for right now, the brands that I'm looking for are places like Cole Buxton, Fear of God Essentials, 
and a spot called Urban Revivo, which I'm waiting on a hoodie from them. Okay, so speaking about that, it just came in. I'm trying it on, and let me tell you, I am very interested. I've never had a silhouette quite like this one, where the sleeves are shorter so they don't drag out, but they're still oversized. More like a parachute thing, and let me tell you, this is insanely comfortable. The only thing that caught me off guard that I didn't see in the website this caught me a little bit by surprise but i like it and that's because like i mentioned earlier different brands have different styles and they offer something even just a little bit different but if you know me i like little details because sometimes little things can go such a long way now look hoodies are definitely a staple in every guy's wardrobe but if you want to know everything else you need to build the perfect wardrobe i have a video that's going to show you exactly that other than that i'll see you in the next one